Hey there, I'm Aaron, and this is Camp Peculiar, a channel for AI artists who want to make comics. I said that really quick, AI artists who want to make comics, graphic novels, or any kind of visual storytelling endeavor. I write and art prompt the fun, the fantastic, and the wonder-filled webcomic Camp Peculiar, which is entirely AI art-backed, which is a tongue twister. Head on over to Webtoons and search for Camp Peculiar or use the link in the description below to read uh, the comics I've written and see all the fun AI artwork that goes with them. Today, oh, it's going to be a special day. It's going to be great. I'm, I'm so excited to do what we're doing right now, which is I'm going to give you five art styles that go really well with uh, AI art, comic book, or comic strip, or webcomic, whatever you're working on. I got five of them. These aren't just one word styles. Like I worked on these, I've used several of them, and I am excited to get through them. All right, number one is fantastic. It's a real goodie. You can probably stop watching the video after that and just go out and start making stuff, which is what I would prefer that you do. So here's what it is. You're gonna put in your prompt. This is, the, the prompts I'm using this are just female pirate and male pirate, pretty easy. You would just put in female pirate, comma, noir line art, comma, caricature. Or if you prefer, noir line art, caricature, pen and ink. I know how to say the word noir, but for some reason I still have a problem knowing if I'm saying it right. Noir line art caricature and noir, I <laughs> don't know why I can't say that word. Noir line art caricature, and pen and ink put on there. Uh, we'll see this a couple times. When you put pen and ink, there is a small chance, there is some chance you will actually get a pen or a pencil returned in mid-journey. So you might want to use the dash dash no pen or dash dash no pencil. This is a blazing hot uh, prompt that you can get started with right away. Throw another word on there at the end in the middle to kind of make it your own uh, and experiment with that. Number two, are you ready? Number two is also fantastic in the same uh, vein of trying to keep color out of things. Try stencil style, comma, monochrome, or stencil style, comma, monochrome, comma, minimalistic. You gotta be careful with the minimalistic modifier there on the end because it tends to remove uh, the face and remove a bunch of detail. Uh, this one is gets pros for the editing in Photoshop because it's kind of easy to mix and match your own stuff in Photoshop or correct things. I'm not sure how well it would work with backgrounds and a foreground character since the, the black and white nature of it might cause a confusing silhouette in your storytelling, but that's okay because we're already moving on to number three. And we're going to go in a wildly different direction here, a wildly fun different direction. This is for a little younger set. It's a little softer. Try these two. Try marble style, comma, children's book style, or chalk style comma children's book style the marble style will give you a little sharper a little richer look and the chalk style will give you a little softer a little more erratic look i don't think erratic is the right word there but we're going to stick with it marble also takes a little bit a dip on the consistency but still too fun number four a little more fun you have to find the right font to go to this one finding the right font is more of a challenge than generating characters you're going to go with eight bit style comma pixel style comma neon style or you can go 8-bit style pixel style pastel style and the reason why we're putting neon on the end or pastel on the end is so that the art sort of has a similar color tone to it i think you could also put like red lighting green lighting uh, in there to try to get a consistent look if your comic is going into a particular theme and the blue color is important there then you can try to put in blue style or something like that all right, number five. This is the big one. It's it's a little wild. I did not save the best for last, but I like it. This one's a sleeper hit, and it goes a little while. I like stick figure, comma, crayon style. You can try to mix in some other stuff there, like stick figure kids art crayon style or stick figure refrigerator dash art crayon style. But the keywords there are stick figure or stick figures and crayon style. It's inconsistent uh, at best, but there's no doubt you can get some very interesting uh, and very stylized characters for like a three panel or a one page comic strip in there. I hope you found that helpful. Go make a comic strip or a web comic with one of those styles. Let me know what you think in the comments below or if you have any styles that you like. Don't give up your super secret sauce style. I don't know why I feel like that's a thing. You got to keep your, you got to keep your, your, your good one. You got to keep your super secret one secret. But uh, if you have one that you like or that you think is interesting, share it in the comments below. Also like and subscribe if you are enjoying content related to using AI art in a visual storytelling capacity. And head over to Webtoons. Go on over to Webtoons and search for Camp Peculiar uh, or you can click the link and uh, you can read some of the stuff that I've written. It's super fun. 
definitely fantastic, and I will see you next time.